You are watching a special presentation from Tinkle Group Gaming. Hello guys, welcome here to the 7-Eleven IndyCar series. This is race number 6. Here today, from the Indianapolis Road Course, today we present to you the GMR Indy Grand Prix. I'm Brian here in the booth with you. Starting from the pole today will be Aubrey Scott in that number 27. To his outside will be the number 8 of Lyle Austin, your winner from Coda. Of course, as mentioned, we are here today at Indy. This kicks off what will be a fun 10 days ahead. Of course, tomorrow we kick things off. A rare Saturday event we will have qualifying here from Indy so these track crews they're gonna go to work right after this race getting the oval prepared for what should be a fun again eight days coming up after today um, with qualifying and then of course a couple of practice sessions before we get going for the third Indianapolis 500 but it begins today on the road course and we've seen Chip Ganassi Racing dominate to this point in the season. They've won the last four races out of the five we've run so far this season. Will they continue this dominance? Will Chevy finally find a way to victory lane here today at the greatest, at one of the greatest, most iconic tracks in all of racing? We're going to find out in just a moment. Let's take a look at your starting lineup, and when we come back, the green flag in just a moment. Here we go. We're ready to go racing here at the road course at Indy. They'll make their way through the final corners here. A little dip onto the oval. 16 laps here makes up the GMR Indy Grand Prix. As we get ready to kick off the next nine days here in Indianapolis. Aubrey Scott. Lyle Austin, they'll lead us to the restart zone. Green flag. We're racing at Indy. Here's going to be the fun part. Look at him fan out. Entering turn one. This is always a trouble spot. We'll see if they make it through. And they don't. The 06 is around. The 7 is in the dirt. And it looks like they're trapped in the sand trap. They're trying to back out of it. And they're bouncing around. And actually that's not the 7, that was the 5 of Samad Ozkan. So the caution will come out. Our first caution on a road course in a minute. And you see they both somehow get out. Gotta give them props. I don't know how they got out of that sand trap without needing to be towed. Aubrey Scott the leader right now. And he will come back around. And he'll lead the opening lap. But we are under our first caution here at the Indianapolis road course. Let's go see what happened. JP Morgan, he just gets hooked by Eli Wolf here. Just gets hit right in the wheel and unfortunately sends him right around. And he gets hit by the 22, Michael Collins, the f five of Samad Ozkan involved too. And you see these three, we always mention turn one is a trouble spot here at Indy. And it proves no different here. J.P. Morgan, Samad Ozkan get the worst of it. We'll take you back to the green in just a moment. Here we go. Pit stops here at Indy. And it looks like all 25 will make their way on. Here 
here we go. And again, you see the pit stops. They don't look like normal IndyCar pit stops, unfortunately. That's just the way this game is. Oh, they're wrecking on pit road. Some of them can't even get into their pits. Jessica Strauss. Oh, the 28's up and over. And the 28, Dylan Ibrahimian, stuck on his roof. They might have to extend the caution for this. We'll take you back to the green in a moment. Here we go, getting ready to go back racing. You see the 28 and the 5 still on the pit lane. Unfortunate break on pit road. Unfortunate tough break on pit road, I should say, for those teams. Karen James somehow, some way gets the race lead on some pit strategy. You see the pace car is off. And the leaders will make their way back around. It'll be Karen James, Aubrey Scott, Ben Cohen, or Lyle Austin, rather. As the green flag flies, we're back underway at Indy. We're going to stick to this camera so we can see what happens as they're going to fan out here. And you see behind is where they fan out. Let's watch. See if there are any more incidents. And this time they make it through clean. It's always that initial start, you know? But Karen James is the race leader. Uh, excuse me. Karen James the leader, but here comes the 27 trying to make a run. Aubrey Scott. And you gotta wonder, Karen James had to have done two tires on that pit stop. And it shows right there. Karen James is gonna lose the lead here. Aubrey Scott, now the race leader, with 10 to go. Or 11 to go, rather. Now the 28 and the 5, they're done being towed, but the damage is done to those two cars. As Aubrey Scott will take the race lead. But Karen James did lead a lap. Good run for that 45. And that's, of course, big. Karen James, of course, only running road courses, but she will be a part of the Indianapolis 500. She'll be running tomorrow for Dale Coyne and Team Go in the number 55, where Dave James will take over this car effective tomorrow. And I believe she's the only one, as of now, that... That is a road course only driver that will be competing on the oval. Again, I'm recording preseason, so I don't know what happened between now and the premiere time, or between when I'm recording in now. So your guess is all as good as mine as Mitchell Hodak made an unscheduled stop. Hopefully everything's okay on the 15. And here we go. We thought we were going to have a battle for second. Lyle Austin not able to complete the pass. As Aubrey Scott leads here. At Indy.
And you see him kind of trying to run away with it right now. Karen James is hanging tough back there. How's about the AJ Foyt car back there? That's Daniel Voiles in the number 20, but he's under pressure from the four of Andrew White, and we have not talked much at all about AJ Foyt racing. Oh, an issue. 29, Eli Wolf off track. And he'll rejoin the racing surface, but did it trigger a caution? And indeed it did. I can't believe that triggered a full course caution, but indeed it did. And Karen James is closing on the 27. She just ran her fastest lap that last time by. And Karen James has run here on the Indianapolis road course before, so she knows her way around here. Of course, that was in a Lyft National car. This is in an Indy car. See her racing back. Aubrey Scott leads. Let's go see what happened. Just trying to gain any bit that he could on that number eight. And Eli Wolf goes around on his own. I don't know how this triggered a caution, but it did. Maybe it's because he came up and almost tagged the 60. That's the only guess I could have. And the fact that the 4 and the 20 were almost impeded by him. So maybe that's what brought out the caution. But Eli Wolf, tough break. We'll take you back to the green in a moment. Here we go, we get ready to go back racing. Some of the leaders did pit under that caution, but about seven or eight of them did stay out. And you wonder if they can make it to the finish. It'll be Aubrey Scott, Zach Fitzwater, Daniel Voiles, Karen James, or not Karen James, my mistake, um, Mohamed Zain Abdullah, and then James Qualls. That is your top five here at Indy. Pace car is off. We'll watch the two pink cars go to battle here. Oh, the 20's pitting. So now Mohamed Zain Abdullah will move up to third. As we're back underway at Indy. Here we go. Will we have a battle for the lead? Here they go. Fitzwater, Mohamed Zain Abdullah, three wide for the lead. Oh, they slide, but they make it through, and Fitzwater now the race leader. We go back, no issues. But you see, the 20 made his scheduled stop, and Zach Fitzwater, the Jello Cup Series champion, now in control of the race. And how's about that? Mohamed Zain Abdullah not going away in that Errol McLaren car. Here he is. And Mohamed Zain Abdullah looking for the lead. He'll take it away. How's about that for the seven team? Five laps to go here at Indy. Saw the 27 Aubrey Scott come to the pit lane. Now all eyes on the seven. Can they make it? Lyle Austin might be in the best spot. Mm. 
Again, tomorrow we're back here, but it's practice and qualifying for the Indianapolis 500 on the Oval. Some of these guys won't be back tomorrow. That's why Mohamed Zain Abdullah would love to end this with a win here today. And he'll pit. Everybody but the 28 in the 8 will cycle out to the race lead, but it's a battle between Lyle Austin and Karen James. Karen James to the inside won't get there. Let's see, will it be a three wide battle with Alex Tanker? Yes, it will. And Alex Tanker to the race lead. He goes two for one on that exchange. And how's about that? Andretti Harding Steinbrenner. They'll get the race lead out of that. And the best part is he's got a teammate right in front of him. That's Dylan Ibrahimian. So you wonder if they'll do any blocking to try to help this 88. Karen James is right back there. She knows she's got a fast race car. All right, lap traffic moment. Will the 28 make an issue out of it? Doesn't look like he will. Dylan Ibrahimian gonna let his teammate go. Maybe, yes. Three to go here at Indy. Another thing to note, of course, our next points paying race, not for nine days. And it's double points toward the overall championship. That's without, without a doubt something these guys are thinking about. Entering here, and of course, the battle for the pole over the next few days will be an interesting because, again, you get one point. You get a bonus point for sitting on the pole. But here at Indy, that turns into two as they pit. Eli Wolf will go to the race lead. And it looks like Reggie Fogelman stays out as well with two to go. Battle for the lead, or battle to put the 15 a lap down won't happen. Mitchell Collins also stays out looking for a podium. But it's an Andretti 1-2. We'll come to the white flag in just a moment. 29 pits. 26 pits. What will the 12 do? He's in two, as is the 41, the 22. Jessica Strauss, Alexander Rowe. So the next car in line is the number 20 of Daniel Voiles. What does he do? He stays out. 
Is Daniel Voiles going to be the race leader? We just received the white flag. It's one lap of racing to go presented by Mitchell's Memes. And what exactly is going to happen here? As you see the 29 on the pit lane. And indeed it will be Daniel Voiles that cycles out to the lead. How's about that? Ed Carpenter racing, of course. Ed Carpenter, every time we come to Indy, it's noted that he is the hometown boy. Grew up in Indianapolis. And this would be a big win if this 20 can hang on. And how's about a big momentum boost, too? Daniel Voiles, again, the worst out of the full-timers right now. Battling for that overall championship. This would be a massive confidence boost going into the Indianapolis 500, and the caution is out. An issue on track. It won't matter, though. As you see, it's probably just a car that slid, but we will go check it out at the conclusion of this race. It doesn't matter. They're all racing back. It's through the final corners. The cold start for Daniel Voiles and Chevrolet is done. Daniel Voiles wins at Indy. Congratulations to the number 20 team. They get the job done. They finally put an end to the cold streak to start the season with a win. And I saw the 9 on the pit lane, so I wonder... If Casey Naneko had something to do with this. You see the skid marks entering turn 5. Let's go see what happened. Had nothing to do with Casey Naneko. This was a battle coming off the pit lane between Tim Randolph and and Mitchell Collins and these two probably not going to be very happy with each other going into Indy 500 week they just both lock it up there and slide right into the middle of the racing groove and you see everybody having to scatter to get around them easy to bring out the caution with that one congratulations though is in order for Daniel Voiles he is the winner here today at the Indianapolis road course we want to thank you for watching. We're going to show your results and your standings. We'll see you tomorrow for Indianapolis 500 qualifying. Until then, goodbye everyone.